I'm John Bracey. I'm a professor in African American Studies at the University of Massachusetts at Amherst. Black Americans have never understood poor white people. Uh, they've never understood why poor white people would support rich white people who clearly do damage to them. But they seem to think of their friends. Uh, race allows us to see inequality very clearly. Like the plantation owner is a plantation owner. Now, he's not your buddy, he's a plantation owner. Uh, but if, in fact, you're a free poor white who has, in fact, less to eat than slaves do, because you're on your own, like you're the Irish and so forth, you don't see the plantation owner as your enemy. You see him as a fellow white person. And that ideology very successfully blunts the class exploitation of poor white people. You know, that's the most foundational thing in American life. Uh, virtually every normal kind of social program that would have kicked in in Europe in the 19th century, you know, in order to help working people, you know, survive under capitalism, we don't have. You know, it took us into the 20th century, literally, you know, to get child labor laws. We didn't get child labor laws in the 1920s. You could work children 20 hours a day to the 1920s. You know, there was no compulsory attendance for schools. They didn't have to go to school. They could go in a factory. And nobody checked about, well, your kid didn't come to school. There's no reason like, they didn't have to come to school, right? You, 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 you sacrificed the education of large, large numbers of white kids because there's no child labor laws, right? You completely destroy any kind of possible you know, organization of the working class because, in fact, they see white instead of worker. And once you get that, then, of course, you can't organize people. So you don't see slaves as workers. You see them as slave labor as separate from free labor, even they call free labor, which is not free. Uh, you see any progress among African-American people as coming from you, right, and not helping you get it from somebody else that has more than both of you have. So you will argue that, well, if I let black people have this, they're going to take my job. Not that you need more jobs or control of the factory so everybody can have more jobs. So you turn the fight downward rather than upward. You know, so this working class in this country has always, you know, for the most part, except, you know, a few peers in the late 19th century, have always seen their enemies as fellow people on the bottom and not as the ruling class. Mm -hmm.